Nityananda guys, welcoming you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Um, in this video, actually in 2020, I want to start to uh, produce some videos on this channel where um, I'll uh, not only talk about power manifestation but also uh, give some nice demonstration. So I'm starting today. Um, I'm working on actually getting nice clips of uh, various powers manifesting and um, and talk about the experience um, that I have uh, regarding the power manifestation. So today actually I have a clip which I took some time back. Um, I was thinking, see, some powers are more subjective, some powers are more uh, to a certain extent objective, meaning like um, if you take the powers of body scanning and, and all these things, it's more subjective. It's like a one-on-one -on -one experience, right? The person who is getting uh, the power uh, manifested feels connected to it, and but the people around, not necessarily. So I'm kind of working, actually, that's what I did in the past, but I kind of pushed it aside for some reason. For now, I, I really want to jump into it and really um, and, and do it and show it, with, uh, show it to you guys as I'm doing it. And uh, it's basically moving objects on... Um, on a flat surface. So um, in the clip I have, it's a, today, it's a clip I took about uh, me doing power manifestation with my Atmalinga. So for those who don't know, the Atmalinga is the, is the crystal linga we get when we get initiated into Shiva Diksha and Vishesha Diksha. So, um, so yeah, basically when I was doing this power manifestation, I was in Malaysia at that time in transit. And uh, I was able to make it move a little bit on the floor, uh, made it rotate a little bit and wobble. So um, I'm going to show you the clips um, in a short moment. But um, other, uh, as well as the clip, I really want to also share, like, what is my experience of power manifestation? Because power manifestation is a science for enlightenment. It is not magic. So first, let's just have a quick look. So that was approximately a 30 minute session where I sat and chanted Mahavakya and got into the space of oneness with Swamiji and asked the Atmalinga to move. So if I, if I relive the situation and share it with you because I got this question in the comment in one of the previous videos, you know, let's uh, share about your experiences so it maybe uh, it's more relatable than just the pure science behind it. So I want to make various videos where I, I share the pure science that Swamiji shares with us and at the same time the personal experience and some visual support like uh, power manifesting. And um, power manifestation happens from the space of oneness. If you establish yourself in a space of oneness, you get it, it manifests. If not, it doesn't manifest. So like I said in some previous videos, it's a perfect way towards enlightenment because the more and more you manifest these shaktis after getting initiated by Swamiji, the more and more um, you get into, you kind of romance and you discover this space of oneness. And at some point you become, you fully established into it and that is the pure enlightenment. And when you are in that space of oneness, you can move things around you. You feel strongly um, associated to your hand and you consciously give a command to the hand to move and simply it moves. So in the same way, when you get into the space of oneness, you become one with the object with which you are doing the power manifestation, in that case the Atmalinga. And when you, you can give a conscious command and the object responds. Now when I did this power manifestation, I, I sat, obviously, and properly seated, head, neck, and spine in a straight line. I started to chant Mahavakya and I gave the command to the Admalinga, okay, I want you to move towards this direction. And after that, I kind of dropped it. It is not like my experience is, um, you will not be successful if it's, you're doing this kind of a mind game. You know, it's not like a mind power. It's not like you focus, 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 and then it happens. It doesn't happen like that. Actually, the more you use your mind when you manifest shaktis, <laughs> you actually start to fall asleep. So uh, that doesn't work. It's only when you remember Swamiji 
when you are integrated to Swamiji and when you uh, get into that space where you're beyond your self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial. So in this clip, at few moments, I got into that space very intensely and, it ha and the object and the Atmaninga started moving. And that was basically, um, I remember that when I was doing the Para Manifestation, at some point I, was, I entered into a space of seeking where I was looking into a deeper clarity about, I don't remember what I was seeking about at that time, but I was seeking about the spiritual truth and I was looking into getting some clarity. And at some point, as I was doing the Paramanifestation, manifestation, I got that clarity, I got a click. And at that moment, I had like, inside the body, I could feel like a tremendous confidence. I, I don't know how to explain. Like I would say like it's a space beyond, beyond SDHDs, self-doubt, self-hatred, self-denial. Tremendous confidence suddenly rose from the inner space and and then I just looked at the Atmalinga and the Atmalinga was moving and I was like oh my god so and that was actually that was the first time I was moving an object on the ground because moving an object on the ground or on a flat surface is much more difficult uh, it is more difficult than doing it on you know for instance for instance moving a coconut out of somebody's hand so uh, because the oneness and there's there's more I, I guess more oneness required, the intensity of the oneness is required. And even I can say that um, my experience also is for some reason, when I do para manifestation with my Atmalinga, I feel much more connected to the Atmalinga than to other objects. If I do uh, para manifestation with the coconut, for some reason I don't feel the same oneness with the coconut. Uh, my oneness is not like, uh, that same oneness is not happening with the coconut, but with the Atmalinga, uh, because it is, you know, so precious and it's also, you know, I do puja to it every day and there's a nice intimacy that I would say the, the relationship between, um, it's, it, I don't see it as an object, right? It's something alive. So it's easier for me to relate. And when I do para manifestation with it, my para manifestation is a lot more successful. Also, um, and I guess that grows, right? Once you get established into the space of oneness more and more, and the more and more you can manifest the powers with other things. So it's basically just finding that space where you get constantly established into and manifest various types of powers. And I think various powers demand a different level of oneness. Um, but Swamiji says ultimately it's the same space. But sometimes we have mental blockages, like we have ideas, oh, this is easier, this is harder. And these thoughts come and they disturb, they disturb the space of uh, manifestation. So this is what I want to share with you in this video. Paramanifestation is very important and I also one thing I realized is even if you do not manifest the power during your session, um, you should not stop doing paramanifestation. I realized that the more you do paramanifestation, the more uh, the body is able to in handle higher intensity frequencies, in the frequencies of higher intensity, of higher frequency. Frequencies of higher frequencies. Higher frequencies. <laughs> so um, it, it really helps to build the nervous system. And at some point, you can remain established in that space of intense energy and not collapse, not be overwhelmed or, uh, you know, feel whatever, feel overwhelmed in any way. And, uh, and like that, you can handle more and more power and, ma and start to manifest and share that power. Even in your capacity of healing will tremendously increase your capacity to handle your life because everything everything it's like a, it gives the clarity it gives the energy it gives the confidence to make decisions and keep moving and not being stuck in various things different projects you're uh, working with for instance and like that so power manifestation is a is a wonderful um, practice swamiji says practice is four letter word but it's a wonderful spiritual uh, part of the spiritual routine that every day we should practice especially if we are initiated into, uh, if we have the Atmalinga, if we are in initiated into Shiva Diksha and Vishesha Diksha, into Para Manifestation, it is our integrity with Swamiji to constantly uh, work with it and get into that space and start to then operate from that space when we do other things uh, in life. So that's what I want to share with you in this video. Uh, write your, like, your comments below if you have and um, thanking you again for watching all these videos inviting you to like, to subscribe, and to click the bell icon to know when the next upload is. And uh, check out the latest song. It's a Tamil devotional song called Patum Nani. Patum Nani Bhavamum Nani Padum Unenan Padavaitene 
so uh, you can have a look uh, i'll put the link in the description below as well so i am very happy 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 i'll see you in the next video nityanandam nityanandam